Happy Holidays, Kiss Army. It's your girl, Les Latrice, back at you again with another video. Today, let's talk about surviving deployments. Okay, we're just going to jump into this. Um, this list I have five things that will help you guys or what I feel will help you guys survive deployment It's what helped me survive deployment. So let's get into this number one is Determining and defining your role within your organization once you go abroad now While you may think you know what you're doing in garrison things change when you deploy the dynamic changes the environment changes so once you get once you go abroad, make sure you identify what your job is or what your responsibilities are within that area. The reason I say that is just because once you once you understand that, you'll be good. Like once you understand, you the, the work part of things will become easy peasy. Like so, just do that first. Number two is to establish a routine. Now I mentioned this a while back when I did my top five uh, ways to get fit. Establish a routine. Routines, while they seem redundant, they actually really help because it makes it kind of seem like the days are running together, but really time is just going by so fast. Um, so like my routine was, um, I got up, I did PT, then I got dressed, I went to work. During lunch, I went to the gym, I ate, I went back to work. After work, I watched my shows or whatever, or I went to the MWR. It just depended on the day of the week, but I had a routine. So just establish a routine, offer it. So just get into it. Days will go by completely fast. You have no problems. Third, if you don't have a hobby, you need to get one. Or you should try to find one while you're deployed. Whether that's reading a book or um, editing videos or knitting I don't know whatever you like to do <laughs> but find a hobby find something that you love to do that is like your that's going to be your outlet to when things actually things might start getting a little rough for you like for me when I when I deployed to Kuwait uh, they had salsa nights or little things like that or, um, game nights little things like that at the MWR they had bingo on Saturdays and I think on Latin night on Fridays and that's what I went to like it was my outlet that's what I did and I loved it I learned how to salsa and bochapa and merengue and all that cool stuff so it was great definitely find a hobby number four if um, if you're able to go off your post make sure you do so like get get to know the culture this is probably like one of the only opportunities you have to travel somewhere um, like outside of the US so get to know the culture go out go to a local restaurant go to the mall go anywhere just get off the post if you're able to if not participate in what's on the post go to the MWR events go to the USO events do all of that stuff like be active don't lock yourself in a room it, it, doesn't get any better with you being in there. You might as well just embrace it. Like embrace it and do and do some fun stuff. And then lastly, lastly, which I find the most, 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 most important is to find your people. Your battle buddies are what's gonna keep you going. I feel like I'm like leaning. Okay. Well your battle buddies are what's gonna keep you going throughout the whole process. Like they make it the most bearable and the reason they do is because they're going through the same thing you're going through right with you they're the only people that understand what you're going through and <clears throat> they can be there for you to talk to them to complain to confide or do whatever it is you need to do to make your deployment that much more bearable so with that just know that those those you don't have to go searching for them trust me they'll find you and when they when you find them stick with them because that deployment bond man everlasting everlasting y'all always be able to talk about those memories all right well 
that's my five things that I believe will help you survive deployment. At least I know that they help me survive deployment. And I'm on deployment number two, numero dos. So uh, if you have any questions or you want me to elaborate any more than I have, please just leave your feedback in the comment section below as well as go ahead and thumbs this video up if you haven't already thumbs 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 up i need this video to get to like 50 likes i want to keep doing these um the military let's talk military so thumbs up thumbs up right right now also make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and that's it. I will see you guys on my next upload. It's your girl, Leslie Trees. Peace.